right, the Indian trumpet flower. I did not know this English name before. I did not know this vegetable, I guess you can call it a fock. It's like a pea pod, a giant pea pod. And it's delicious. It's very bitter, but uh, it has all these amazing properties as always. In the South, we called it lean fa, which is like tongue of the sky. And in the North, it's called belit mai or pega in standard Thai pasaglong. Those are just dialects, but I'm gonna grab this. As you can see, my first attempt, actually I fail miserably. Uh, I, I was too far away and I didn't feel balanced enough on the ladder. I was holding on to the tree branches and the tree branches broke. So that was a little dangerous. So I moved my ladder closer to the tree so I could use the trunk of the tree to hold on to. I felt much safer that way. So I could have just tried to take the giant pea pod off, but I just grabbed the whole thing. There is another one and we have more. These actually do grow wildly. So I just grabbed the whole thing. That was easiest. Just took that whole stem and then I'll work with it from there. And I'll show you my catch right here. Oh yeah. Yay, papa. Now you got a catch. Look at that bad boy. So here we go. There's a lot of ants on it actually. So uh, I washed it off. This bucket filled up with rainwater. So it was just sitting there anyway. So I just, so why not use it? Get those ants off. Chaya, of course, is interested in what I'm doing. And I'm taking each of the fock, which is that giant pea pod. And I'm also taking these flowers that have just started to, to pop off. Actually, the flowers already came. I saw them on the ground and they fall. So first it flowers, and then, uh, so these are at different stages. Those very young ones you can't eat, but if I let it go much longer, the, the bottom pods would be too old, and, and you can't really eat them. So you just eat what's in the middle, the, the fresh pods, and then the ones which are just starting to pop out. All of those are perfectly edible, and I'm surprised it took this long for Chaya to try to jump in the bucket of water. Now listen to the crisp of this cut, each cut. I mean, are you, are you hearing them? I mean, doesn't that just sound delicious? So we cut off the ends of each pod and cut off these stems and sometimes the tips just based on if it's old or, or soft still and throw it in the water, the boiling water, or the water that is reaching the boiling temperature. And I didn't show you collecting these malakinok, which literally means bird poop bitter melon. Uh, bitter melon or bitter gourds are, are long, bitter vegetables that grow on vines. These ones are a smaller version. They are eaten by birds and the birds poop all over the place and they grow in vines. They grow wild all over our land and they're delicious. You can eat them at different stages, uh, but you should take out the, the middle part, which is when they're young, they're kind of the formation of seeds. Um, and you just want to eat that bitter skin. And and even if they're a little older, then the seeds are, are actually real seeds and you can replant them, but it's not really difficult to find them during during the rainy season. Uh, they'll be everywhere, so we can go out and collect them. And everything in here really is, is bitter. Boiling it takes a little bit of the bitterness out, but, uh, but we don't really boil it that long. I mean, that's what we're after is that bitterness. Uh, so here's, here's one where these seeds, you, we could actually replant these. And, and I, we did, we just threw this in our chicken feed and, and gave it to them so the chickens will eat it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure these will create new vines and new bitter melons we'll see on our land. And, and yeah, we won't even get them all. But if we need them, we go out and we get them and we eat them. And just let them boil not too long. It's up to you. I mean, you can even boil them a little bit and then grill them. They taste really good grilled, uh, you know, that little bit of charcoal. But uh, 
I just bring it to a boiling for a little while and it softens them up and then cut them up and they're ready to eat. It's nice to dip them in like a, a sour and spicy sauce and nampreek or, or lime and chili or something, salt, uh, soy sauce, any of those, but they taste good, just f ready to go right now. So I, I'm going to grab one while they're still hot, soft, and just take it, bite it, chew it. It's, it's, it's wondrous. You can just feel it's bursting with healthy goodness. Absolutely amazing. Here's a, here's a plate full of everything here off our land, either wildly or planted in our garden. Now this trumpet flower actually is, it comes from bats. So we must have bats. They eat it and that's because it just popped up on its own. We didn't plant that tree, although I have planted more. Uh, the red beans and kale we planted in our garden. The anchan, that purple flower, butterfly pea. Uh, we might have planted that, but it's growing wildly now. And, and then this last vegetable, I don't know the English name or even the Latin name. It's called cajon, or in the north we call it salit.